Hey everybody, um, got a double unboxing today. I love when this happens. One showed up yesterday morning, actually early afternoon as I was walking out the door, and um, this other one just came this morning, so I had to sit all night looking at this box and dying to open it, but I didn't open it. Go into a proper unboxing. So, today we have one order from uh, Orchidea Diffusion in France, and the other from Orienti Orchids, because they have the Miltoniopsis I've been dying for. Okay, let's get going. I'm actually not late today for once. Right, Bob? Let's see. That's nice. I didn't order this, but it must be pretty good. Little hangers. I ordered a couple of Tolumnias and um, and this guy. See, I have one of these already, but I've had it for like a year and a half, and the thing has grown maybe like maybe a new cane, maybe. So, okay, let me get another one because maybe the one I have is just kind of like a stunted grower, or it's not really doing much. So, this is Dendrobium Spectabile. Pardon me? No, it's just it's on the, printed on the cup. This looks like a nice, healthy, vigorous, with a new growth. Wait, I'm not for it. <laughs> you got a new growth coming up here. It looks like a very healthy plant overall. Dendrobium Spectabile. Could be one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Check out these blooms, they're insane. Of all the Latoria type dendrobiums, I think dendrobium spectabile has to be my favorite. The first time I saw those blooms, I gagged. I was like, I need that plant. So, yay. Three Tulumias. Might as well show you all three at once because they're kind of small anyway. But my last ones I got from him, really good. By the way, the owner, the owner of the nursery's name is uh, Nicholas, and he's anything you need is very, very obliging, very helpful. Definitely recommend ordering from Orchidated Food. So does Poppy. Okay, so we got. Tulumnia J Rack Flyer Corona and J Rack Flyer Fantastic and J Rack Flyer Carnation. So, yeah, these are the three Tulumnias. And the Dendrobium Spectabile from Orchidea Diffusion. Yay! I think that should be that. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Nicholas. Oh, it's so quiet. I turned off all the fans. The exhaust, the circulating fan, the air purifier. I know I left the humidifiers on, but it's really quiet. <laughs> love being able to order from one day to the next and it gets to the next day. I ordered these yesterday. Love it. Love it. I know I say it every time, but it's worth repeating. Okay. 
It never ceases to amaze me how well they package. Considering that it's not even mailed, it's messenger service, so it doesn't even have to be that. <laughs> that well done. Excellent. Now, I noticed this last time, this is the same color as Poppy. That's why I thought she was getting like, all nervous when I was opening it. Alright, so open up the small one first. This is a small guy, native of Brazil, with tiny little fragrant blooms. And when it's in full bloom, it's quite the spectacle. Oh, it's almost like in a semi-terrestrial mix. Oh no, it's a... Uh, Small bark and perlite. It's very dry. But, uh, yeah, let's check it out. It's Ornithophora radicans. Ornithophora radicans. Okay, see, so this is the plant. Most of these are going to be aerial roots. A lot of the roots stay outside the pot anyway. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a very small kind of tiny, tiny roots, well, very thin roots. Remind me of Tulumnia roots, although Tulumnia roots might be a little bit thinner. And, uh, yeah, so this should make a nice little plant. I can't wait for it to bloom. Check out the blooms, they're really cool. <laughs> Ornithophora radicans. Now the beauty I've been waiting for. Uh, another one's been on my wish list for a while. And I'm excited to about it. In bloom. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Three flower spikes. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is the Miltoniopsis Newton Falls. Oh, gorgeous. It's even more beautiful than it was in the picture. It's like a fuchsia, velvety. Hopefully the, the camera can pick it up. Gorgeous. Yeah, they're like velvety. Oh, amazing. And it, it does have a scent. I don't smell it now because it's been in the box, but um, yeah, it's supposed to have a nice... Actually, I read somewhere that it smells like limoncello, uh, which I thought was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, it does supposed to be having a lemony fragrance. So um, yeah, that's just a plus, because, but I just love, love these blues. Beautiful. Lutoniopsis, Newton Falls. I don't have to show you the blooms because here they are. <laughs> Yay! Love this one. So, two nurseries, but kind of a mini haul. That went quick, quick and painless. So that was from, let's, so just to review, we had the Dendrobius spectabile and the three Tulumnias from Orchidea Diffusion. 
And from Orient the Orchids, the uh, one of the four Radicans and the Miltoniopsis Newton Falls. So, um, yeah, what else? Oh, uh, my video for my orchid collection in 60 seconds. Um, you got a peek of my new setup, but let me just show you again. In better light. Now we have some daylight. So, <laughs> kitchen table gone, and in come the shelving racks. It's staggered just enough so that they'll all get light on the three different levels. Um, daylight at least. That was my little tripod. <laughs> and um, yeah, easy to move. Like I can just wheel them around, wheel them out um, to water, and to, to observe, and whatever else. Once it starts getting warmer out, all these vandas, vandacious will be outside, so they'll also make a lot more room. Um, but yeah, no, it's great. My Gongora Lukokaila, putting out a flower spike. Finally, I had put that one in semi hydro when I first got it. The leaves are turning yellow, though, that's weird. Um, I put that one in semi hydro, it was one of the first ones I got, and it came to me with three flower spikes. Like, she didn't really like that semi hydro at all. And um, lost all the spikes, put out all the spikes, so went into the side and it kind of like died and I was kind of giving up on her so I put it back in bark and um, lo and behold I got a flower spike Let's see what else is in the spike the yeah, the, uh, the Phalaenopsis amboyensis white by Marie got a couple of buds clumping up like, uh, right here the focus right there there's a couple more clumping up here is my um, Phalaenopsis Leodoro. It's got a brand new spike right here. This whole spike just came out brand new. It had another one, see underneath the leaf, there's another one popping out, and the other one right here. It's got three spikes. My, um, what's it called? The DTPS Purple Martin, putting on a flower spike right here. Um, Phalaenopsis Tetraspis, same thing, two spikes. Mini Mark, a couple of buds right here. Um, what else is going on right here? Oh, okay. Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> as easy as to wheel these things out. Okay. Now, the um, Benthadara Gilda Tower Mystic Maze is those flowers are really. At the end of, they're about to fall off. Um, the Oncidium Shari Baby right here has another spike. Where she, oh, there it is. And where's the spike? Right there. See it? Right there. And then the Colmanara Wildcat Purple Fairy. Nice big spike right there. Um, what else? Let's go spike, spike. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll go down there, the Mutonia Sunset. It is in bloom. Focus. Yeah. I still got to clean out. Everything that was in here is outside on my terrace now, so it's in my next project. <laughs> Getting rid of everything. Um, let's put this back. Okay. Um, here we have... Pull this one out. Okay, right here we have the see, another Oncidium Sherry Baby, my Maltasia Shalab Tolkien. Uh, should be putting on another spike soon because it's maturing another two bulbs. Um, right over here, the Maltinidium Hawaiian Sunset. Also a spike. Um, anything else on spike? I believe, actually, some of these fell on one of my fowls back here. A little flower spike right there. See that? Amidst the roots. And uh, as far as like spikes. Oh, here. All of these Lumias. This was the uh, uh, Jarek Flyer Super Bright. This one right here. It's got four more buds on it. This one I knocked over yesterday fell. And it had one little red bloom here that broke off. 
But yeah, it's always nice. And um, I believe that's about it for what's in bloom and in spike for now. Um, yeah. The Stanhopias, I'm done. I'm really hoping we get blooms from them this year. I've yet to see a Stanhopia in bloom in my care. But this thing is huge. Look at this one. This is, so, this is the Conata. It is, it is huge. It is really huge. Uh, so that one put out one, it started to put out um, a flower spike last year and then it dried up because I think it was, it was like right over here. So there wasn't much, you know, it's kind of dry and there's the heater back there. And yeah, so I don't think it's getting enough humidity or light. But um, yeah, still need some arranging and some finishing touches, but this is pretty much the setup. And I'm really happy with it because before with my kitchen table here, um, there was stuff that I couldn't reach and I would forget about or that I would have to go outside to go around and get from the other, from the door. And it was just, things were getting neglected and it was just a mess in the corner and space was just misuse of space. So I'm really happy with this setup. It's a lot more organized, a lot more clean. And uh, I can see everything and get to everything and less will be neglected. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. It's part of my setup. So that's it for this haul. And uh, a little update, March update. Um, what's going on this month? Oh, there's the, the, um, the RHS Spring Flower and Orchid Show this month, the end of the month. I believe it's like the 28th, 29th, 30th, um, in London. So, uh, tentatively going to that. Hope, I hope I'll see some people there. Maybe uh, Roger might go there, I hope. And, um, maybe Rachel will make it out there. But yeah, this should be Robert at the gear in London, so you should be able to, maybe we'll see you there. That'd be fun. Should be fun. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, so good things coming. Spring is definitely sprung. Uh, it is like warm. It's nice. So hopefully we'll stick with this weather. And uh, I think that's about it. So time to get my day started. It's only 11.30. Nice. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like below. And um, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And um, that's about it. Have a great week, everybody. Enjoy. Happy growing. And I'll see you soon. Bye.